contemporary records. It is not possible to overemphasize how important contemporary records are to prove a claim. Even the best lawyer, delay analyst, or claim consultant cannot help you if you don't have good records. For example, detail as planned, as built data, productivity records, timesheets detailing allocation of labor and plant, records of cost, expense, incurred, etc. Different delay analysis techniques require different sets of data. However, from this table, it is clear that the common denominator is good records in general. The records should differentiate between recoverable and non-recoverable claims. In Pittman Construction Co., the Board of Contract Appeals stated that costs for cumulative impacts are recoverable in theory. However, proof had to be provided. In other words, cause and effect analysis backed up by contemporary records. The case was appealed and the Court of Claims stated that settled law dictates that where both parties contributed to the delay, neither can recover damage unless there is in the proof a clear apportionment of the delay and the expense attributable to each party. In another case, Southwest Marine, the Board of Contract Appeals came to a similar conclusion. And finally, in Bell BCI Co. versus United States, the Court of Federal Claims awarded over US dollars 6 million of cumulative impact damages. In this case, the contractor maintained detailed and comprehensive records of productivity on site. Therefore, a clear cause and effect based delay analysis was able to demonstrate that the contractor was eligible for compensation. So here are some examples of contemporary records. All programs issued on the project. These programs need to be checked for logical errors and other issues. All technical contract documents, original and revised drawings, specifications, etc. Correspondence including emails, minutes of meetings, variation orders, RFIs, TQs, CVIs and other variations not properly recorded. As built records of all activities, preferably signed by the engineer's representatives on site. Construction log data daily record sheets issued by the site engineers, labor allocation sheets including productivity records, progress photographs and videos, site diaries, and all pertinent subcontract documentation. This is an extract from an interesting witness statement I came across. During my time on site, I interviewed him to discuss events that delayed our works. From my discussions with him, it was clear that there was useful information in his site diaries that supported a number of events of delay that we had identified. I therefore asked that his diaries be handed over to me so that I could review them. The problem was that while he was on site, he started a relationship with a female colleague and consequently he was very reluctant to give me a copy of his diary.